Hello. How's it going? Turn my desktop audio on. There we go. Yay. Hi guys. How's it going? This cow, did you just come in? It says you came in. Yeah. Hi. I don't usually shout out people when it shows me that they joined, but usually engage in chat. So hopefully that was okay. Hello. Happy to have you. Also, hello to everybody on YouTube. We've got a lot of people here today. Let me scroll up. Uh, Davis is here. Hello. Laffy also beat me here. Welcome in guys. Sabrina, Grandma, Michael, Kitsugi, hello, hello, hello. Mariana, thank you so much for joining us tonight and for gifting that membership over to Laffy. Definitely a deserving uh, member. Laffy, enjoy those emotes, and I believe you also get access to some exclusive videos now, so hopefully you enjoyed those. Nat, hello. Paul, hello. Mimi, hello. Um, also, hello to everybody's cats. <laughs> happy, happy that you're all here. <laughs> The cow is love here, needs to be announced when entering. Oh, yes. Uh, we, we love you all very, very much. Thanks all for, for hanging out. So we're actually starting right off the bat. Davis dropped a build in chat uh, before the stream even started. So we're just going ahead and starting with that one. And you said, love some help. The windows and exterior finishes don't look quite right. So we're going to take a look at that. Also, I am congested allergies. If it's picking up too much, let me know and I'll try to like maybe move the mic higher so I'm not breathing on it as much. I don't know. Um, I feel like what's mostly messing with this because your walls are already tall and medium, but they don't look tall and medium. And I think it's because your floor trim is so thick. Is there a thinner one that we can use? So I wonder if that would help. What packs are we using? For sure, Discover University. Might be the only one here. So what do we have? Oh, are we using freezes? Oh, we're using freezes. Oh, uh, because you're using the big one, which is very nice, but I feel like it's making the walls feel really squished. Hmm. I'm wondering. These are all going to be big, because this one's smaller, but it doesn't come in the same set of colors you've been using. And I don't know if you want to, like, switch all of that up. But for illustration's sake, let me put it up anyway. Um, like, I wonder if that would help you feel like your windows are positioned better. Oh, hang on. I'm going to have to turn on move objects. I really need to put better build buy back in. I just keep forgetting. Um, we'll move that up. They're also really close to the edge. I'll have to check your... Um, your floor plan inside, but I wish this building wasn't right there. That's really inconvenient. Hang on. Because what I want to try and see is if we can compare. See, that's just, this is fish islands happening right now. So over here, we've got these windows spaced out with the thicker freeze, and it's feeling really wide up top and it's not lining up with the windows down below and over here if we line them up with the windows down below and consider switching out how we're doing our freeze or floor trim i wonder if that would help with more of the walls showing up you like this build yay also uh youtube's not scrolling so people are talking to me and i can't even see them uh yay <laughs> hear what you're dealing with but your words are clear enough okay cool thank you Bez, hello, welcome in, welcome in. Oh, but it's switching all exterior. Okay, cool. Added yours to the gallery? Yes, please do. Okay. So, I think... I think the trim is just too heavy for this build, but there are things that we can do to work with that. Um, this doesn't come in quite the same color, but we're going to have to switch stuff up anyway. I'm thinking about switching over to do, instead of the freezes if we do floor trim, because that's just thinner. And we can work with some floor trim up top as well. Get rid of all these, all right. Oh, okay, so actually we should be able to move the windows around fairly well. We might have to move some sinks, but I think we can mess with the window placement which I think is throwing stuff off more than anything here. Oh, and there's still one more freeze. Yay. I'm going to move these windows up as well and consider skipping the, um, skipping the freeze in between. Yeah. Move these up as well. 
Uh, so what that'll do is give us a nice tall shape here, especially since this one over here is split in half. And then I'm going to grab this exterior, uh, this floor trim, the dental trim, because I think that'll work better than, well, maybe this one. That's close. It's a little light, though. No, I think I like having a little bit of detail on there. Okay, so we're going to go with that over there and grab, no, this. Do some floor. Come on. Up here, so that we can actually add our floor trim up here, which will almost work like a fake freeze. Now, are you going to slot properly? Maybe. We'll think about it. I'm definitely going to have to, oh. Rats. Um, replace these little ceiling decorations because they are, or roof decorations rather. They do not want to stay put. Oh, they behave so weirdly when Move Objects is on too. Okay, you know what? We're just going to finish with the trim and then we'll go back and figure out fake dormers. All right, so I've got the floor on the top level. Then I can grab that same floor trim and put it around there instead. So that's lighter. Um, and one of my favorite tricks is also to actually raise this floor one level and put my roof back. What that does is it hides the eaves, but it lets us grab a floor, or not a floor trim, a platform trim. It's been a minute since I've done this apparently, um, which will make that top look a little bit thicker, make it look a little bit more like a freeze but it won't actually be a freeze, it'll just be a floor trim, uh, which should, in theory, help with our windows feeling too small and cramped. Hopefully, I'm gonna have to move these down again, but it's fine. I do like little balcony details, though. I don't wanna get rid of those, and they help these windows look larger. Okay, what's not centered? You, you need to move you yeah okay i think this window placement is better than this window placement this everything's just sort of off kilter and also it's very very rare that you see windows that close to a corner i know that it's because you have the mirrors upstairs but i think we can move that around uh the main one you'd like to work on today is the cozy cottage oh yeah i remember we talked about doing that one i'm gonna try it gosh was it Austin, I think, posted today how to get your camera to not bob up and down all over the place? And I'm starting to wonder if I need to do that. Are these the same? No. Is this the same? No. Oops. Is this this? I think that's the same. There we go. Okay. Also, I have enabled quarter tile placement by pressing F5 on my keyboard um, for anybody interested in that. And I think we can split this up like this. You might need to make your bathroom one tile wider. I don't know how the playtesting is going to go. Um, whoops, that's a window. So now everything will be a little bit more spaced out. Um, you could put a laundry basket, a chair, literally nothing in between those sinks there. Actually, student laundry might be nice. Okay. And then do we have to move anything over here? Oh, this is showers. Okay, so yeah, no big deal there. There goes my phone. So I think that's gonna be my official recommendation for that. If you decided you wanted to switch colors around, um, you should be able to switch out the color of the floor trim pretty well, or even use the stepped trim. That's a little bit less dynamic, but it could still work. Uh, let's see. What else do I want to change over here? I like that you used... Oh, okay, so this wallpaper, I like that you used it because it has that column detail. But we are going to... Where is it? It's supposed to highlight it. There it is. Brickery, oh, it's the Brickery Elite. Uh, we're actually going to grab the same swatch without the column to do the corners so that we don't have that column detail on the corner. So I think that looks a little bit weird and it's too much like detail happening. I'm going to get rid of that. The rest of it looks fine, though. All right. Um, how are these looking from inside? Oh, there's a fireplace there. 
Hmm. Okay. I was thinking about rearranging these windows as well because it's like split in the middle and there's nothing really there, but I don't know if there's going to be a reasonable spot to move the fireplace to. So maybe we don't do that ever. Hello, welcome in. Totally missed the beginning. That's right. We jumped right in. I didn't even do like the introduction to the to the stream yet. Just jumping in, doing one of those. Because I'd kind of like... Oops. Not that far. have these more spaced like that. I think that looks a little bit nicer, but it's really going to mess with your fireplace. So you'd have to pick which one's more important. Mint, hello, welcome in. I think I might also raise them up a little bit more so that they're more visible over that balcony, but you can leave the flower plant, the flower plants, flower boxes right where they are. All right, and then do we want to do dormers? I do want to... I think I want to make this roof all the same. Oh, this is a gable. Okay, no worries. So we'll just take one of the hip roof pieces, rotate it around, pull it through. So that should work pretty okay. Um, I know that you don't have fireplaces on either end, but these would be good places to put chimneys still. Oh, I'm gonna go back to base game and university only. Okay, there we go. Do we have one that matches the brickery? Kind of, not really, which is a bummer. Or is it this one? Oh, maybe it's this one that matches. Well, it's not very large. We'll put it in anyway. Okay, so sometimes stuff decides to float, uh, which is pretty annoying. And then you have to use zero to put it back where it belongs. There seems to be an issue with roof decorations when you have move objects on, and I have no idea why this is the case. Like, every time I click it, it raises more and more. What's the deal with that? Go with zero. Okay. Um, now this roof pitch isn't quite steep enough for this dormer to fit in perfectly. So whether or not you care about that is up to you. I doubt that there's going to be another one that'll work better. Oh yeah, that actually looks worse. Now some of them are plain enough that you can sort of stack them. You have to be careful though. Oh, is it not going to let me? It's not gonna let me. Never mind. Ignore what I said. I like the idea of having the dormers in here, but we're gonna have to pitch the roof up, and I don't know if that'll work out very well. Why not add a chimney between the windows in front? I did think about it. It works a little bit weird with the roof, so we might have to rearrange the roof a little bit. I like it in theory, but I don't think it's gonna work if we're gonna keep this roof pitch, and I'm hesitant to pitch it up more because the build is already so tall and it doesn't really, f well, I guess this is pretty steep. Like, I feel like that's too much roof at this point. Uh, that's where the big clock would go so well to keep the space of the fireplace but not look empty and would really go with the school idea if only Sims had big clocks. Oh, they do have big clocks. Oh, and also somebody said window above the fireplace. That wouldn't work as well because it'd have to be like here. And then that's going to get cut off by our uh, trim and not look quite as good. Okay, if we wanted a chimney. Oh, it'll have to be a three tile. Um, So if we did a chimney chimney, then it would come up like so. Put this back where it belongs. It's deleting roof pieces for whatever reason. And I think that looks kind of weird. So I wasn't going to plan on doing that. Um, but I like kind of like your idea of the clock. So if we wanted to beef it up a little bit and be like chimney clock tower type thing, we might be able to do that. 
copy. Oh no, wait, I wanted to put this roof back down because I don't like it this tall here. Oh, that's too far. Copy and I'm gonna maybe place it up top. There we go. Down. Do do do. Oh, this is gonna get rid of my filters, but that's okay. I'm pretty sure Discovery University actually did come with a big clock. It's either that or get famous. Ubi Electronics uh, Miscellaneous. Oh no, it must have come with a different pack. I swear somebody has a big clock. Oh, this one, Get Together, has a big clock. Get Together has two big clocks, actually. Yeah, I thought there was another big one, but I think that's it. Because this one's, like, clearly an indoor t indoor clock. The building looks kind of like a middle finger. Oh, yeah, it kind of does. Maybe that's not the best idea, then. Alright, so I'm gonna go... I think the chimney looks weird. I don't like the chimney sticking up from the wall like that. I think I like the windows like this. If we're gonna... Oh those. There we go. Hmm. Still thinking about this. Front situation, though. Change the size of clocks. We could change the size of the clocks. Um, but once somebody points out that the building looks like a middle finger, I'm not going to be able to unsee it. So, <laughs> oh, what would I even want to do? I do like the idea of dormers. I don't know if I can draw my own in. That would be pretty swell. Oh, wait, we can. Oh, well, that solves problems. Okay. Oh, it's going to delete my chimneys again. Oh, no, it's not. I am really confused about what the rules of the game are. I think I'll make these medium wall because they should still fit. Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Move objects is on. Like I could place these wherever I want. So I don't know what the deal is with those. Um, Uh, with those chimneys. But I don't want to play, I guess. Alright, is this actually going to work out, though? Or is it just going to look terrible? They might be too narrow. Mm, I feel like they're still too narrow. Hmm. <laughs> what town is this? Oh, we are building in Brightchester. No. Is it called Brightchester? I think it's called Brightchester. It's the Discovery University world. We're trying to figure out the facade of this one. Who knows? Your brain being bad. Oh, don't worry about it. It's a good thing to point out because sometimes I miss it. They'd be okay if they're further apart. Maybe. My concern is also with the... um windows down below like we're gonna want it to more or less line up okay let's just let's all scooch over scooch scooch I 
then I think I'd want to move these windows over so that everything was a little bit more lined up in regards to each other, one another. Why are you, what? Hmm. Why is there a hole in my roof? That was different. I like having something up there. Is it bright, Chester? Looks like a room you'd find nefarious information in during an investigation. <laughs> Love the shape of the build? That's good. I'm glad. Um... This would be nice, but we're not using that kit. It's a good kit, though. It would go really well with this pack. I think I'd recommend these dormers over the, um, like, fake ones. I also wonder if the roof texture's throwing me off. What texture do we have around here? We have a few. We have this one. That looks a lot older. And we have this one, which would make it look a lot newer. Or at least newly shingled. Oh, I don't like the gray with the brown, though. We're doing black. Yeah, I think that was throwing me off a little bit, too. We could also do metal. That would definitely be a new new roof. Uh, where's the base game metal? This one corrugated. So got that going for us as well. I like the colors you have. I think that we needed to work on window placement. I like not having that uh, freeze in between. I think that that definitely helps. Um, and this is, I think, what I'm going to recommend for the roof. I might even, oh, pff, not over there, <laughs> push these up. It loses a little bit of the detail. But I don't know if there's a smaller window that actually matches. Let's see. Do you match? I don't think you do. That would be convenient. Uh, I don't think this is a match either. Nope. Not really. This one? Is that a match? I guess it is. Oh, but no, that feels too small. <sighs> this would be a great size. But no. Because the game can't decide what color it wants anything to be. Ugh. Okay. Well, I guess we're going back to this one. I'm just going to push it up a little bit because I think it'll look better. I don't know. So much to redo the three monster townhouses in the world. Go for it. Unless I might have already reacted to that. Sorry. My head hurts and I'm confused. Uh, Sam, I've been able to catch one of the lives in a while. Well, hi. Thank you. Welcome in. Glad you could join us today. I'm going to leave the rest of your windows alone for now, just because I know that you already have quite the floor plan worked out and it looks like they are more dependent on the floor plan than the outside. But I think changing up the front a little bit will help. And I don't think we have windows clipping into the fireplace now. Uh, a little bit, but not like to the point where it would potentially cause a fire. So I think we're okay. Oh, I didn't think about that. What if I just noticed that you have some of your windows turned inside out? We could do that up here. That might be the move. The play. That looks a lot better, I think, like size-wise. And I think that the roof texture, this, I think that the scalloped roof texture doesn't work with the style of the building. Um, I think if you wanted to go with a scalloped, you'd have to, like, soften the rest of the build up a bit as well, and it's a lot of stone and brick right now. So, I think... It's me, my recommendation. The only other thing I might say is to consider switching out the foundation for something that actually matches your windows, or at least complements them. Um, something like this beige, or something a little bit darker. Maybe one of these. I, 
think that'll help and look a little bit better than the white one. The front looks a lot better than the colonial you tried in your old build house. <laughs> I think it's a nice build. Hopefully some of this information was helpful. I'm going to put this back on the gallery for you all to judge. Um, so do that. Oh, guess caps lock is on. Hang on, I don't want to yell at you guys. It's not a yelling kind of day. Alright. Yay, there we go. Helpful is always well, hopefully. And if you're lying, that's okay too. <laughs> If you don't like it, at least we found something that doesn't work, right? Isn't that one of, like, uh, Tesla's things? Not Tesla, um... Oh my gosh, I can think of every name but the one name I'm trying to think of. It'll come to me later. Anyway, some smart dude who invented cool stuff. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Edison, yes, thank you. I was thinking Nikola Tesla. I was thinking Albert Einstein. I was thinking so many historical inventors except Edison. Oh my gosh. Anyway, hi Julia. I have allergies and my head isn't functioning, but we're here anyway. <laughs> Happy that you're doing well. Okay, I... Yes, anyway, hey guys, welcome to the stream. Uh, for any of you who may not be used to this format, here's what's going on. This is Sam Help Live, the live stream, uh, first Monday of every month, where I take your builds and try to help with whatever you're stuck on. Uh, Tesla was cool. Oh, no, dude. Tesla was, like, amazing. Um, definitely look forward to going through history again and studying him with the kid later. Much later, though. Anyway, um, so if you have a build that you're stuck on, anything in build mode goes. We do layouts, we do roofing, we do windows, we do siding, we do, like, literally anything in build mode. If you're stuck, let me know. Gather ID, lot title and what you're stuck on. Um, I have a bit of a headache today, so brain's not all there, but we're doing our best anyway. And if it really sucks, you can just come back next time <laughs> when my allergies are over. Uh, Laffy, I know that you had one. Let me see. Uh, we can also look for the hashtag, because I think it was up there. Hashtag Samhelp Live. If you're not able to make it, you can throw it up here and we can take a look at it on stream as well. Who's doing the torture build this time? What do you mean who's doing torture build this time? Can we skip doing torture builds this time? I'm not in a torture build mindset, LA. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> oh gosh, there are actually quite a few new ones here. This is exciting. Uh, Laffy, I think... Where were you? Uh, the Cozy Cottage. Okay, cool. So we're going to talk about this one. There's always one. Well, we are looking at one of Laffy's next. So this is a 3020, which we're already on, but I do not like this lot. So we're going to go find a different 3020. Uh, the roof, windows, and lighting all wonky in different ways. Okay, and this is a different cottage than we did last time. Windenburg. There we go. That's a 40-30. We'll do this one. This is a good lot. Get together only. I love get together. I don't know if this is the right lot, but we're going to pretend that it is. And we wait. There we go. Let there be light. Okay. That'll work. Move objects. Move out objects should be on. My... There we go. Fixed it. Um, I'm going to refresh my brain here. All right. The roof can be rounded and the windows better. You don't know what you hate about the lighting, but both inside, outside, at night, and indoor just feel like the fixtures don't look good. All right. So first thing we're going to do is look at the roof. All right, I think, how do we have this one? Is this stretch all the way? Oh no, it's just the eaves. Okay. First thing I'm gonna do is shrink the eaves on that one. And I'm gonna do shift C so that I can round the top completely by pulling that up. I think that'll help. So there's a before 
and after. Um, I'll have to figure that out. So like even this one too, how the top is still kind of pointy. What I'm going to do is shift C and then drag this all the way up to make the top nice and smooth when it's around. I think that'll help a little bit. Um, the cottage did last time is also on there in update build. Oh, yay. Uh, someone typed the hashtag in, if you forgot what it is. Yes, I got you. So hashtag Sam help live is the hashtag. Uh, usually lives are busy enough. We don't actually pull from the hashtag, but, um, we can, it's always there for if the stream is slow or whatever. You should be correctly in the gallery. We can do it another time because you also need to go to bed early. Oh, okay. Tool makes account as modded. Oh, I don't know. I don't have it. Uh, the window is going for cottage, but really bright and open. All right, we'll look at that. All the... St oh, these stones. Oh, yeah, for sure. It looks really good, but I, I don't have the patience for that. Anyway, I'm trying to figure out the roof situation here. Oh, what do we want to do? Because I feel like it's not... Why does the roof feel off? Is it just not tall enough? You know what? I think I'm going to switch this one out for a half hip roof piece. I'm still going to curve it and I'll let you keep your eaves because we don't actually have the uh, cottage living roof trim option here. Due to the pack restrictions, which is fine. Um, oh, there we go. Whoops. Oh, it's not going to give me the roof trim. What roof trim are you using? It's one of the square, it's a square one. Now I have to find the color. Nope. 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 Black. Okay. All right. I'm going to consider closing off the front there. I'm also... Oh, I see how you have the lamps like inside. I'm going to rotate your lamps because it's making it kind of hard to see the front. There we go. Okay. I'm going to consider that instead with the closed face over there and then go through and just shift C and round off the top of the rest of your roof pieces. Whoops, that's the wrong one. No. Oh, goodness. Oh, this one's just too small to round. Okay. I think I'm also going to try and like lift up your lower eaves. I think I like that. All right, so the top one and the bottom one are going all the way up, and then the middle one is where we're actually going to decide what our overall shape is going to be. That's what I've got for the shape now. If we have time, can we peek at one of your builds? Do you want to surprise with something that's a cafe or relatively modern? Oh, oh no. I, d I don't know. Will I be shocked? We'll see. <laughs> I tried to figure it out. Hopefully I read it mostly right. Need to get rid of the whole roof and start over. I might, because something's off and I can't quite tell what it is. I think... I think I will just have to look at it from from the ground up as it were let's see what we can do oh so this is like a ladder situation okay We have two very narrow spots here, which is going to be kind of tricky. It shouldn't be impossible, though. But I've got the whole front here. Oh, maybe? Hmm. <laughs> All right. Well, if we're going to go for thatched, I think I'm going to go for more closed edges. So I'm going to start with just a full gable on the back here. Once again, shift C, curve the top. Um... Usually I wouldn't add eaves on a thatched roof. I would just add the thicker roof trim from Cottage Living or Island Living, but we're not using either of those packs. So that's going to be a no-go. And then I'll pitch this down just a bit. 
and pull this up to give it more of that sort of bell shape that you're after. Alright, so I'm going to start with that and then... Oh, what else do we want? We're going to stick with the this thatched texture. I might try to go for a softer edge as well, like maybe one of these rounded... Um, more straw colored ones. What color do you come in? Oh, you still show though. Something like that, maybe? Okay. Now with the curved roof pieces, this is going to be pretty difficult to line up. Just because once you change the side, the curves don't all line up properly. Which is annoying. Like right there. Right. Now I have to push it in and... Uh, we'll see if this actually lines up or not. Yeah, so there you can see as it's stacking, it's sort of like not lining up properly. This actually should be all the way over here. I think I lied. Okay, there we go. So that's, hmm, it's just so round, and I understand wanting to have a round roof, and it definitely carries that, um, cottage vibe. It's just looking odd on this one for some reason. in here. No, this one. Thank you. And what roof trim did I end up going with? Was it this one? Okay. And I'm also going to grab one of the thicker trims in a similar color to your column to put across the bottom of that piece. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Don't I just love it? It's, I don't I don't know if it's you, honestly. Okay, I know we're not using this pack, but just because I'm curious, I'm going to grab this thatched texture and see if it's the roof. It might be the roof texture, which we can't fix. Uh, but that roof texture is something else. Yeah, and like I can't really properly layer some of these pieces. Just by nature of the curve. Um, anyway, but yeah, usually I'll grab, like, that thatch texture and then these, this, like, roof trim. And then I don't use the eaves, because it sort of functions like an eave. But we can't do that today. Laughy roofs just come from the cool shapes. Oh yeah, no, for sure. I'm just trying to figure out why this feels so odd. Oh, did I move something? I moved a random plant. Whoops. Oh, I don't want the roof trim on that anymore. There we go. Okay, that'll help. Oh, that's going to be impossible to get to line up properly. Do I want it to be open over there? That helps a little bit, I think. Maybe we still have to work on the windows, but maybe grab the right. I would like to grab whatever stone texture is here. There we go. Maybe opening it will help. I might go through and adjust the pitch afterwards as well, but I want to try and get all the pieces down. This one, we want to make sure we're not letting that um, bit of wall poke through. There we go. Oh, and then what am I going to do with these super skinny pieces? Because that's tough. The little skinny pieces, but I don't want to 
mess anything up. Like, it'd be nice if I could push that back and even let you keep your wall here. No. That would just give me more to build from, like, for the roof, but... Hmm. <laughs> Let's bring this in. I don't think I actually want the eaves on this one. I just want it to sort of connect to the chimney a little bit. That'll be good. And... How was this going to look if I try to put this roof piece over here? It's odd, for sure. Partly because I still have that roof trim on there. Hang on. There we go. Hmm. Uh, we could push the wall. It, it might help if I can push the walls around. Also, this wall right here. How is this all down here? I've got it. all sorts of stuff. Hang on. I move I'm moving your things. Um why this window? I don't remember where that's supposed to be. I'm gonna put you there. How's that? Alright, so we still have the ladder and a little easel around the back, but I think maybe being able to move some of this uh, I'm just gonna do it like that. Oh, because you have a bookshelf. Alright, I'm moving your bookshelf as well. The nice bookshelf. Bookshelf painting. Why is it organized like this? I don't know. Oh, you even had a light switch. Well, now I feel really bad for moving your stuff. So detailed. Um, but I think that this this shape will really help. Because now if I can pull this out, that roof is just going to look, I almost said more natural, which like I guess, kind of. So there's that. I could even use one of the closed ones if we're going to do that, though. There we go. Okay, because that gives us a much more solid shape to actually put a roof on. I think that'll be nice. Yay. Uh, Nocturnia, <laughs> sleep well. Thanks for hanging out with us tonight. Okay. I think that helped. Um, I'm gonna, oh, not that one. I'm gonna grab this put on this part so that'll help our tower stand a little bit more did I do that you have rugs floating outside the wall I might have done that I'm sorry all right there you go put that back where it presumably belongs I'm also going to make your chimney a little bit larger I think uh, since you don't have any other walls in this level, I'm going to switch it over to medium so that I can use taller half walls. That's good. Alright, so now we've got this going for our cottage. I like having the open shape over here. I might pitch this all down a little bit. Not too much. It still has to be fairly steep to shed the rain and whatever, but just a little bit. Now my chimney's too tall again. Dang it. Alright. So I've got that for you. I don't know how to make the chimney smoke. No, those are vents, not chimneys. Um, so what we're going to grab instead is going to be... Let me filter, pack, not base game, do, do, get together. Yes. Um, actually, this might work. So we're going to grab any old chimney object, so any of these, and actually put these in there. This will actually stick out the top. Up to you whether you actually want that look or not. It could be nice, um, but since this is an actual chimney, it will provide actual smoke. Because I think you were using these, which are just vents, which just like let hot air go out of the attic. Uh, which... 
doesn't really matter, but then again, neither does roof pitch, and yet here we are. So, <laughs> oh, I didn't look at the back. I don't think there's anything I want to do back there. Okay. And now another thing is this is all brick and stone, which is nice, but it's really, really dark. So I'm wondering if to help it feel more cottagey, we want to brighten it up a little bit. Um, maybe not even necessarily get rid of the brick, but grab either this plaster coated brick, which would really help if I could like, I don't know, click buttons correctly, whatever. Um, so lighten it up with something like that or with siding which you could also bring a color in that way which is fun um, maybe not yellow with the thatch particularly but just a lighter color that could help I actually kind of like the brick better so I'm gonna leave that and then um, I think one more roof piece oh right Sorry, I forgot about that part. Um, do I want to do this one thatched? Do I just want to put down... Let's see. Not clipping in. Now it looks like you have it go all the way out over this stair piece oh you had a couple of them hmm oh that's right I remember this now I remember looking at this and being like what am I gonna do with that all right let's push that back and will it work if I just extend the eaves out it will okay so we're gonna do that just leave that a little bit more simple we could put the thatch on this as well to blend it into the rest of what's going on. Um, or we could grab some like weathered corrugated metal and put that up there, which would make sense as well, I think. windows yay I think we have the other roof pieces now <laughs> sorry about that thought your game was broken oh no I've been using the, I've used uh, well not those particular vents but I've used a different vent before and been like why isn't it smoking no nope, it's just a vent I think we have some of those on our roof um the other thing same vein where everything is just kind of really dark if you oh rats hmm. oh wait no you're using get together okay so i know that you like the darker colors and the darker wood and i don't want to completely remove that from you but i do think it'll help our cottage vibe if we lighten it up a little bit so i'm going nope this one there we go I'm gonna grab one of these because it still has wood tones. They're just a little bit brighter. And I think that might help you out as well. Or even this one. Nope, it's not what I wanted to do. This one. Oh, we're gonna have to, no, goodness. There we go. Nope. Just up to there. Okay. Go back to the roof trim. Grab this one. Grab a different lighter color. There we go. Yay. Um, This... Oh, this does come in a lighter color as well. Wait, what pattern do you have on there? You have like little holes. I know these won't all match perfectly, but I, I do think that lightening up your color scheme a little bit would help a little bit with that cottage vibe. I'm also thinking about 
bringing this down to just the three windows and raising them up a little bit just because that'll look less like windows and a roof on top of them and more like a wall with windows in it. Uh, now this is green, which does complement your front door. Um, we do kind of have matching wood tones as well. I don't mind the green. Let's see. Oh. that I'll grab some stairs oh those don't match do these match nope are any of these gonna match probably not a eh? probably not that's fine I don't know what do you think I'm also wondering about your windows, because these are all three very different styles. I wonder if it would be better to just go with one set of windows. I guess this one only has the one, really, that has the diamond panes. Well, there's also this one. Get Together has really nice windows. Um... I'm just wondering if that would be better. I have a taller one. I love that all these swatches match so well. It makes me so happy. All I want is matching windows. All right, I know removing the shutters changes the vibe a little bit, but these windows are just so Modern. So I really do wonder if this would help. It simplifies it. It gives it more country energy and less like, um... I don't know, it was just, it was just such a mix-up before, because you have this one, which has got some, like, old-fashioned country charm, and then you also had, uh, this set, which was, I mean, the point at the top, it could be Mediterranean, it could be Asian, it could be Gothic, um, none of which really go with this window, and then you also had this one, which is just much more modern, uh, kind of craftsman, very much 1900s, and so on. And I think it was just too many. Is the fence get together too? I think it is. I could change windows, yay. Everyone's filled us something you never used before. Uh, so this, oops, uh, this gate, limestone gate, is from get together, but these fence pieces, oh no, hang on, there we go. The fence pieces, um, Oh, it is a matching one. For some reason, I thought it was a different one. But yeah, so this is also Cobbled Fortress here. Gates being weird, but whatever. You can only use the pack that comes with the world you're building in. Oh, LA, that would be interesting to see what you can come up with there. Because you do this, you do well, but it does seem like you do a lot of the same thing. So yeah, I think one pack challenges might be fun. I'd like to see what you come up with for that. Going back to get together to grab my little window to put over here. I think, oh wait, no, there's a bookshelf there. Not anymore, there isn't. Oh, gosh. Hey, 
paintings everywhere. Okay. Yep, I think, I think that'll work better. And I like this door too, but again, it's not like English countryside cottage, but you could pull in one of these if you still wanted to make it like a little bit more charming with the stone and the stained glass and the stone kind of matches your tower. Um, or another good one be, what wall height is this? Oh, excuse me. This is short. Okay. I actually wonder if that, if that would work. It's much more simple, but I think I'd recommend going with either that one or the stained glass arched one, which I don't think I've really used much before, but it's nice. And then it would also give you an excuse to use a stained glass window somewhere, which we always, I think, are all looking for an excuse to do. I don't know where, but somewhere. <laughs> Boxy houses, half gables galore, and cafes. Lots and lots of cafes. So many cafes. Which is fine. You know, the world the world needs cafes. I think this is my official recommendation. I think we've adjusted the roof. I still I'm still not sure what was wrong with it, but we figured it out mostly. Um, and then I think that you just needed to simplify your windows and lighten it up a little bit. I think this feels a lot more cottage. So we spent quite a lot of time on this one. So I'm going to show you what we started with, which is this. I like how all the colors make it sunny without needing all the windows. Yeah, I think I, I, I can appreciate that you tend toward darker colors because I also like dark colors quite a lot. But I think to get the cottage feel, it just needed something lighter. Stained glass over the sink in the kitchen. That sounds nice. Oh, that's right. We were looking at um lighting. So light at night. Why is this all so bright? Do you have lights inside your plants? Or is it just these being obnoxiously bright? I feel like there are lights happening here and I don't... Is it these? Are they that bright? You might just have too many lights. That might be the problem. Cause that's, that is super bright. I didn't, I didn't realize these were so shiny. Oh my goodness. There's, there's there another one. There is another one. Got you. Is there another one over here? Not that I see. I think it's too many lights. I'm going to go through and get rid of your little outdoor lights and then <laughs> unless you like it super bright but I feel like it doesn't look like nighttime properly if there are that many lights out here. Oh and then there are the street lamps or whatever. All right, I'm gonna leave those but I'm gonna come back around here. Is there I feel like there's another light over here, but maybe it's just from the inside. Um, is this on the gallery? Um, so the original build is, this one in particular we haven't quite finished yet. And if you're still using get together, wow, those are just so bright. Okay, well, I think we should still have some. I just don't think we need as many. So I think I'm gonna put like one over here in this path. And then one over here at the corner. And maybe just a couple over here by the fireplace. I don't know if that helps with what you were struggling with, but I feel like it looks less like you're trying to make daytime happen again. Uh, did you create the daddy sound or not? Yes. So if they have lights inside the plants, there might be more lights inside the plants. I don't know. I just feel like, oh yeah, there it is. Everything's glowing. I feel like this looks more realistic. Personally, I think you just had too many lights. Up to you, obviously, in the end. Uh, double check wallpapers. Oh, yeah. So this build currently, so this is what it started as. Cozy Cottage by Laffy Giraffe. 
And then when it's done, I'll put it back on my gallery for Laffy to examine and then put back on the gallery again when they are done. I also don't have anybody else on the queue, so we're just sort of hanging out on Laffy's build here. But if anybody else has a build that they'd like help with, I know LA has one to be looked at as well. Um, but besides that, I think that's that's all we've got so far today. Anyway, I think that'll help with some of the lighting. And then inside, I'm going to go back to daytime. If that can. Okay, so inside... A Ooh, all right. Hmm. <laughs> Once again, you're going for a lot of the dark colors. Respect, understand, appreciate. Also, shall we maybe consider what floor is this? Uh, no. What floor are you? I don't want to break out my eyedropper again. Oh, is it this one? That one. Okay. But what if? Whoa. Sorry about that. What if we try to lighten up the inside a little bit? Brighten up the floor. Um, hmm. Oh, I think I would also recommend changing out the pointy arches for the same reasons we talked about earlier. With something a little bit more simple. So, like one of these, or even if you still want it to be kind of fancy, you could go for the keystone, which matches your doors you're already using. And grab a couple of those. I think that will help a little bit as well. Um, wallpapers. It's nice, but the plain color. Oh, oh, you do have some pattern over here. Okay, I was going to say just the plain color is pretty modern. I wonder if you wanted to bring in something with a little bit more pattern to it. And I'm also wondering about switching up some of your wood tones in here. Not necessarily making everything lighter, per se, but just mixing it up so it looks more like a collection that was built um, over time. Also, this will help your little bear gnome stand out a little bit better. Definitely went to town with cluttering on this one, which I can appreciate because I don't. <laughs> Feel it's really green, but green. Uh, Julia should sleep, but we could do yours. Oh yeah, sure. Um, can you remind me your? Wait, let me get a pen. There it is. The kid was playing with it earlier. Uh, can you remind me your gallery ID? It is very, very green. Um, this is the this one. I love this wallpaper, but it also annoys me that we don't have more of the, like, same paneling at the bottom. And I like the paneling at the bottom. Yeah, I was just wondering if, like, like that'll go more old Grandma Cottage, right? Um, this. No, that's too dark. Is this the same paneling? No, but it's close. Um, this could bring in some more pattern, a little bit of the gingham, which I don't usually use. I'd like something floral, but not this floral. Do we have any other base game florals? Maybe we do not. Maybe we do not. Okay, that's fine. Oh, we got this one. So if you wanted to bring in more, I would try to bring in, I think, more of a patterned wallpaper because again otherwise it's just like modern but that's that's about it oh also i'd switch out these columns to be the same columns we have outside i know i brought in the simplified columns but i think that'll help it looks more rustic that way too you need to learn how to clutter it's, it's so much cluttering it's a lot okay Let's, let's see if I can summarize and recap. So we redid the roof, so I'll upload this back to the gallery. We've adjusted the roof, changed out some of the windows. The rest of the windows need to be changed, but um, I will let you work on that and decide if you want to keep the lighter scheme or not. If you do, then I try to match the indoor and outdoor columns again um, and potentially switch all of your doors to be like one shade lighter just to brighten it up a little bit. Um, because both of us have the tendency of going for dark wood colors and everything, which is fine, but we need to learn how to not do that all the time. 
Um, and then if you wanted to add a different wallpaper, I would consider something with some pattern to it and switching up some of the swatches um, of your other items to make it look not only cluttered, but like it was sort of collected over time. So I think that's my, that's what I've got there. So I will upload this back to the gallery, so maybe you can take a look, see what you like. There we go, and if you'd like to check out any of the builds that we look at here on stream, they will all be on my gallery, which is here, Sam and Bean, View Catalog, and we've looked at two so far today, the Darkwing Sorority House and Cozy Cottage. Yes, so Julia... Unless it's Julia Rose, I don't remember what your ID is, and I don't see that here. Oh, one of these days I'm probably always Laffy is easy because it's the same thing, and Ellie's is easy because it's the same thing. But that's all I got. Hopefully that was helpful, Laffy. I think at least the roof is looking a little bit better. Um, and as always, if you absolutely hate what I do, that's fine. You can change it all again later. It's okay. Um, LA's, what was, what was the one, let's see, is it here? Is it over here or is it other places? Uh, Sakura's Angel, the witch's got, oh, oh wow, that is dark. Oh, it's because there's a tree in the way. Uh, help with roof and walls, you'll see inside the second floor. Oh no, okay. Um, is this in... Is this in Brindleton Bay? Is that why all the trees are in the way? Let us go see. Also, she had things to share in the live, but every build you're like, good enough. You know what? That's not that's not the worst thing ever. But if you ever change your mind, we're here for you. I assume it's one of these because the trees are always getting in the way over here. And I think it's a 3020. That's not what I wanted to click on. There we go. Yep, made it out of the way on purpose. Okay, cool. So we're going to stick it over here in hindquarter, hideaway. And it's nighttime again. No. I'm a professional, guys. Professional. It was Dachshund's Creek. Well, <laughs> I didn't see that soon enough. We're going to put it down, and it's going to be great. It's going to be furnished. It's going to be amazing. Items have been removed. Okie dokie. Change up the light. Let's do this one. Okay, and you said we'll see inside on the second floor. So first floor, second floor. Oh, okay. Easy enough. We got this. Um, I see the style you're going for. Do I have permission to just roof it from the start? You have one as well? Okay, cool. If you can tell me the gallery ID and lot title, I will write it down. And then, uh, LA, I also need yours. Uh, could you just help make it look a little more gothic revival and less Victorian? Oh, okay. All right, yay. So, because you're doing the nice, steep Tudor-style roof, which I love, but we're going to take a look at the sort of shell, the frame underneath, as it were and see if we can make anything easier on ourselves. So the first thing, I love this rug so much. Uh, the first thing that I'm seeing is we are down to one tile on these. And if we can make any of those two tile, that will make everything so much easier. But I don't know if we can. Hmm, oh, goodbye. So that would be the first thing I'd want to do. Let's try to move these in to make them two tile. If we can't do that, it'll be okay. It's just gonna make our roof look a little bit more peculiar. Very tall, very, very tall. Um, now this attic space, does it necessarily have to be in this direction or could we switch it to be the other direction? Am 
gonna write these down. Blooming, reach, pink, Victorian, less Victorian. More of that gothic revival. And we'll see if I could still read my handwriting in 10 minutes. Um, and then LA. A retro camper. Oh, a camper. That sounds fun. Put the inspiration in Discord because it's based off real adult. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, we could switch it there for roofing convenience. Okay, cool. So I'm just going to get rid of it then. <laughs> And then uh, we'll make a fresh attic if we need it for our planning. Okay. If I can pull these out, it's going to mess with your plants in your pond, and I'm sorry. But that will help if we wanted to do that front-facing roof. Or... What do I want to do? I'm just touching all of your things now and moving them all over the place. Okay, so I would like for our roof to have a little bit more of a dynamic shape. And I wonder if starting with a sideways gable like this will help, because then we don't have to make it as steep as the rest, and we could still get that general steep vibe from the others. So I rotate this, put it here. I'm going to hold Alt while I adjust the roof to keep this, nope. Well, that's supposed to work. I don't know what the roof's problem is today, but it's fine. Anyway. It's your problem. I'm gonna put that there. Grab this, pitch it up until it matches. That's a tree. What what is going on with you today, little roof? You are having some, you're having some issues. That's too far. I think that's pretty close. Okay, still super duper steep, but we don't have to worry about it matching this one if it's not facing the same direction. So that is my idea with that. All right, so I'm going to run with, run with that there. Um, there is a window for this bedroom, but we are going to have to retire you. I'm sorry. Goodbye. So that we can scooch this roof piece over, and that'll sort of connect to our chimney here. And we can grab one of these roof pieces to place here. Maybe not quite that steep. Maybe we put it there instead. That'll, that'll be okay. Those are medium height. All right. Um, and then I think I agree with you that some of these are just going to have to be lower pitched half gables, which will be fine. It'll be fine. Pull this over. Hold shift to pull in this one eave so when we pitch it down, it doesn't actually go into the house. And then actually this piece right here, I'm going to push back one, grab another gable, and make it two tiles wide, so it's the same width as the chimney. Then bring it down to here. Get rid of my eaves and these eaves. And how is that looking from the outside? I'd like for it to be the same height as this, so it provides a nice clean corner here. But it shouldn't be so tall that it's clipping in, and it's not. Yay. Okay, so that'll work with that chimney. It is kind of weird that it's like separated from the rest of the house. Um, but our option for that would pretty much to be, like, make this bedroom larger. Um, actually make both of the bedrooms larger. So that, that is an option. We could do that. That'll make a little bit more sense with the chimney anyway. Go back to half walls. How tall are you? Oh, you need to be tall. Okay.
put the pictures in. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, if we wanted an attic, see now if I decide that I want to keep this roof the way that it is, I can add a room in the middle here. Gosh, if I can remember how this game works, that would be swell. Anyway, uh, so then what that will do is I'll get rid of this roof piece and replace it with a couple of half, half gables on either side and then a gable on the top and that'll look the same but it'll give us a nice a nice attic uh, which could also let us add a dormer if we if we were really feeling decorative obviously not with quite that steep of a roof but a little something could be nice Love the shape style, yay. I'm going to actually push this in a little bit because I do want this roof to be a little bit more steep. Okay, I will I will accept that. Okay, so now your attic should whoops. Apologize. Push that in. Your attic should be good and usable now. Plenty of space and you can add windows, which will be for light. Yay. Um, and then over here, I'm going to copy and place the same roof piece right there. So it'll add a little bit of character to the side of your build. Nope, that was the wrong arrow. This one. And what I was thinking over here is that I could take these half gables again and put them on either side. Oh, I guess I'll have to pitch this down a little bit. There we go. Oh, I lied. Okay, no, we're gonna actually have to pitch this up because this is gonna have to be two tile. It should work without any silly shenanigans. It should just, should just line up. Come on. There we go. Okay, so that'll provide a little bit of a more interesting shape on the side, which I think is nice. And then we'll finish off this last little bit here with another half gable. And the roofing tricks we're pulling over here. Include shift to pull this one eve in, and we're going to pitch this down a bit, and shift to pull that eve in, but now there's a hole, no worries. We'll just get rid of all of our eaves on a second piece and then pull it over. Yay. Okay, so that, I think that'll be alright there. Um, I really like these windows. Not generally what I'd go for in a more Tudor-style home, but they are very nice windows, so... I'll let them stay. Line those up in the middle. And now we just need uh, some wall texture absolutely everywhere. I'm going to start with this one. It's easy. And grab your... Oh, you're using gray brick. Okay. Put that there. Do we have a better light for the front? We kind of do. Um, so then at this point, I would probably go for more of a slate tile roof like this one. Or maybe this one. Um, I haven't used that one yet. Maybe this one if you want to use horse ranch. I'll go with this. You could also go with thatched. I don't remember what you had in the beginning. Uh, so we're going with this. Haha. -ha. Oh, actually, we could even match this piece if we wanted to. Look at that. Yay. Missed some wallpaper on the front roof. Did I? Oh, I did. Thanks. Anyway, so what I was going to say after that is once you have, like, your base wallpaper down and you figure out where you want to put everything, um, maybe, like, rearranging these windows so that they fit between the, the um, timbers, then you can go back in here, and I'm just going to sort by get together because they have all of the best wallpapers uh but yeah you can go in and then pick other things oh this only comes in the red brick bummer i thought it came in the gray as well anyway you can go in here grab some things uh so that you can magically maybe match the wood tone there we go 
um, and add some patterns in if you wanted to add stone pieces just go through and play with it and that'll add a lot more dimension to it too and it'll help it look um, like a, a lot a lot more interesting shapes happen in here basically if you can mix up some of the textures oh roof trim my bad I'll just grab this one and I'm gonna try and match it to the shingles I wish so desperately that we could paint the underside of the eaves but we cannot they will forever be white except for like two different roof textures okay something here still isn't lining up what isn't lining up is that better see it's clipping still and I don't I don't understand why are you too tall? Do you need to go down one? Oops. Oh, the stickers just came up. If anyone likes the style too much to, uh, they want a sticker of it. <laughs> I don't have this particular build, but I do have a half timber style, which is lovely. Anyway, um, gosh, everybody's talking, which is great. Yay. Vibes of the house, uh, really going in the right direction to begin with. Oh yeah, no, this was, this was great. Hopefully the roof helps a little bit for your crystal making, which, oh fun. Uh, you had that entrance be the side entrance. Was this one the side entrance? Or was this one the side entrance? This one does have the mailbox. But the door looks so small. If you would like to keep this as the front entry point, I would consider switching out for a larger door um, that takes up a little bit more of the wall. Let's see. I think... This one looked like it was using a lot of the different packs. Okay. Oh, that's just straight up black. Um, yeah, I, would, I think I'd consider going with the dark, a larger door. Maybe this one, maybe. Discover University as well. It is tricky because none of the like wood tones quite match up, but I think a slightly taller door would be good over here. Uh, Indy, head out, heading out. Thanks for hanging out with us tonight. Combining the wallpapers? Oh yeah, no. Get Together has like the best wallpapers. Always start with one just to make sure everything gets painted and then you can go through and add the details and it's fun. Taxes. Oh yay taxes. I paid my taxes. Taxes have been paid. Yay. Okay. I'm happy that you're here though. Welcome back. Um, Alright, so if this is our front entrance, yeah, I think that'll look better. My personal opinion, I think it fills the scale of the space a little bit better and looks less like a side door. This does make this roof direction a little bit awkward, but just given the overall dimensions of the house, I still think I'll stick with it. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put this on the gallery for you then. Um, oh wait, you said also with the walls. Do we still need help with the walls or was it just because the roof was clipping into the walls? 
Bedtime and med check. <laughs> Thank you. Because I noticed downstairs you have a lot of pastel wallpapers. Something that I like to do with these homes is bring some of the wallpaper from outside inside. Just because it's more historically accurate, the walls are so thick. Like, that's definitely a thing that you would see. Um... Uh, it was the clipping. Okay, yay. Okay, cool. So I'll let you continue on your merry way with whatever, whatever wallpapers your heart desires. This button, please. Thank you. There you go. Yay. All right. And self-promotion, because I can. Um... <laughs> I do have a full build tutorial for both the traditional English half tutor style, which is kind of what we were just doing there, um, as well as the American Tutor Revival style on YouTube, which I recommend. The Tutor Revival is base game only. Um, the Amer sorry European Tutor half timber style it does require get together um, to fully follow the tutorial, but I do recommend those. They were a lot of fun to put together. Next up, we're looking at blooming. You do. Pink Victorian. Ooh, okay, cool. I have ideas. Uh, 40, 30. Base game and get together. We are on a get together theme today. Which I'm fine with. Uh, watch them again. I think you watched one. I really enjoyed putting them together. We're going to go over here to this one, I think. So I have those and I, I wish I, sometimes I wish I had a face cam so I could show you, but then I also have the half timber sticker, which was fun to put together. Wait, do I like this lot? Maybe I don't like this lot. So I noticed I had the same house on twice and usually that means that I had to change what lot it was on because one of them is dumb. Oh, this isn't too bad. Okay, that's fine. We can stay here. I mean, hello, welcome in. A uh, limited pack with this house, but if pretty all the packs that have build items, so you can use whatever. Oh yeah, no worries. We can we can take a look at it. So you said you wanted it to look less like generic Victorian and more gothic revival. The best pack, hands down, for gothic revival is of course Strangerville. Um, so because you're. I forgot what world I was in for a second, and I got really confused. Anyway, because uh, this one was using Get Together, I think it said. Uh, which is just very boxy. This is good for a lot of build styles, but not Gothic Revival, because you really want to lean to the windows, especially when you have um, such a limited selection, <laughs> such as with The Sims 4. So if you're willing to use Strangerville, these windows will go a long way. In fact, I think I'm just going to go through... And replace the windows. So that'll be a good start. Oh, I just deleted the whole gosh darn room. I'm it's embarrassing, I'm sorry. Wanna do these windows? No, I think. We'll just go one for one on these. And we'll grab a different door as well. Uh, this one. Oh, and this window up here as well. So if you can use this pack, I do recommend it. Um, because it, it will help with just that style a lot. Because it's so reliant on some of those shapes and we're really limited on um, finding such shapes in in the game. Uh, the base game kind of has it with these, but they don't have the panes down below, which leaves them feeling more modern. Um, so I think I'd probably recommend that. Another thing that I wonder if you want to do is, I like the roof that you have going on overall. 
but I wonder if it would be good to make it a little bit more... I, I want to say pointy, but that's not right. Just like... I'm going to try a thing and we're going to see if it works out. So you definitely had the right idea with adding some more of the gables in there. Whoop. We're gonna pretend that that's where that wants to be. Not entirely sure what was going on with that, so we're just gonna put it back. Um, but I wonder if figuring out a way to make it more gable-y would be good. This is a really basic shape, though, so I'm... Not 100% sold. What's going on downstairs here? What are you? You're a bedroom? So it would also be nice if we could add a little bit more height. Not necessarily more towers and turrets, but if but a few would be nice. This is the wrong button. There we go. I don't know if this will work the way that I'm pretending it's going to work, but that's it's not going to stop us from trying. Hmm. Yeah, I was hoping to just. We might have to, to take a trip over to Pinterest. Anyway, the, there don't need to be two of those. I'm not sure if they were, I wasn't sure if they were stacked or not. I think I'm going to go over to Pinterest because I feel stuck and Pinterest helps sometimes. I want Victorian, I want this, no, thank you, this one. TikTok back up. There we go. Okay, so there's the windows. So I would like to see if we could get more of this shape, which is a lot more dynamic than what your base is, but that would require resizing some of the rooms. And I'm afraid of messing with it too much. But like if we could add more of those square towers and cut down on the amount of octagons, I think that would really help. I really like this alternative to the bay window where it's just like a triangle. I think that's cool. Um, yeah, or like this is what you were already doing, where basically you had just the one roof line and then you had the little gable sticking out. So that could still definitely be a thing. It would just require a little bit of rearranging on your windows. Um, like, I think it would work fine here pretty close. We'll just have to do some fancy stuff with the roof, but that's fine. It's what we're here for, really. Did that just place a whole level above? It did, my goodness. All right, put you down. Shift, ah, say it. Shift, drag, copy, place, resize, shift, and pull back. I think that's fine. Um, it's just if you wanted to do it over here again, then you'd want to rearrange your windows a little bit. That's the building you're working off. Oh, cool. Yeah, so I definitely think that adding more of those would be helpful. I also would like to square off your tower here. If I'm allowed. I'm going... Okay, move objects. Move objects is on, but it keeps deleting stuff that it shouldn't be deleting. And it's stressing me out. Anyway, I'm going to square off your tower just briefly. Um, so that we can do that cross gable roof bit. One of these. I want to match that. 
yeah, I think overall advice for this one is try and use the Strangerville windows if you can. Um, at the very least, try to make it more gably and spiky and try to square some stuff off instead of leaving it as octagons because octagons are a little bit softer. Uh, those are more Queen Anne. Um, Victorian homes. Uh, so that'd be something you see more on a folk, potentially, especially a Queen Anne folk, or shingle, um, and the stick, perhaps. There's the Queen Anne down there. Uh, but then the Italianates and the Gothics and the uh, Mansurge tend to have more of those like squares and right angles, from what I've seen and researched anyway. Alright, let's grab... Windows. Oh, I got rid of the other one. I want... No, Strangerville. There we go. Strangerville. It's more of those character-filled windows up in here. I think replacing the windows will help a lot. I hope it was helpful. Hopefully. And then... Yeah, I think if you wanted to do one more of these like little gable bits, I would put it here. Just pull those windows closer together. Um, yay. Do you want me to put this on the gallery? I don't feel like I changed very much. I just sort of moved things. <laughs> oh, I love Strangerville so much. It's such a good pack. No need? Alright, fantastic. I'm going to go check out LA's build then, and I think this is going to be the last one. I'm starting to feel pretty sick, and I'd like to go to bed. Um, so I know this one's like a really short stream, but I just, I don't think I have it in me to go too much later, but I want to see this. Retro Camper. That's adorable! I'm going to go put it on its correct lot, though. Wait, is that Strangerville or Oasis Springs? Oasis Springs. By Giant rock 20 by 15. Let's see if we can find it. How many 20 by 15s are there? There's this one. And there's this one. This one's closer to a rock on the map. So I'm going to assume it's this one. We'll find out. See the doctor. Oh, I don't have to see the doctor for this. This is just allergies. They're just really messing with me for whatever reason. Oh no, this one's all grassy. That's the wrong one. You went to the Minute Clinic for your infection? Oh, gosh. I hope I don't have to do that. Um, I'm just... Excuse me. Sorry. Sorry, Father Winter. You're getting kicked out. <laughs> Called in today because you weren't feeling well. I'm sorry. I don't know if it's the weather. Or if... I, I think it's allergies. It's kind of sad. Alright, let's put this down and take a look. I, it just, it was like, what, 70 degrees today? Which is just absolutely ridiculous. Okay, I'm still not convinced of whether or not this is the right lot, but this is so cute. Look at this. Move objects? Yes, thank you for the heads up. I like your fake grass um, rug here. Oh, that's a debug? Fun. Toward of a cloud for Father Winter anyway. <laughs> Rip Winterfest. It's fine. Uh, so this is... Let's, let's dismantle how this was put together for everybody who may want to know. Uh, so this trailer item is from Debug. I don't remember what pack it is, and I can't eyedropper it because I don't have Better Build Buy. But LA, if you remember what pack this is, you can let us know. Um, so you put that down, and then the second level, you draw a room, and you put another room on top of it, and you delete the first floor and lower the second floor down to make the body of the trailer. And then they get this little curve at front. This is a roof piece, and this is a roof piece, and this is a roof piece, which have all been meticulously aligned to make that cute little swoosh. Is it just base game? Cool. I th I didn't know we had one in the base game. I thought you had to get it from a pack, but that's very neat. Um, then we are, oh, I live in West Michigan and yes, it was cold, cold last week and weirdly warm this week. 
And I've already just not been well due to lack of sleep and all of my normal health problems. And so, like, if I didn't have the other stuff going on, you know, like, if literally all the rest of my body wasn't also in pain, I'd probably be fine. <laughs> but if this just is just the last straw. The dino, this does right? The dinosaur is fantastic. This is actually in debug. So if you ever wanted to, like, I don't know, build um, a house on the back of a dinosaur, you can totally do that. Ears and sick, it's pain you get routinely. Oh, yeah, no, felt. I'm sorry. It's rough sometimes, and I'm sorry. We have wolves. <laughs> not, not in my part of the state. <laughs> You do want that? It's good. I love this little trailer because it's still very much your style. Like this particular combination of shapes and the very minimalist aesthetic and low-key retro and the colors and the siding and everything. It's, this is still very LA, but I agree. This isn't quite like your normal cafe builds and I'm proud of you. <laughs> or add a bay to a very large dinosaur in the middle of the suburbs. I... Please, if anybody does build dinosaurs, um, let me know. Maybe we should do that for our next shell challenge. Oh, and these are debug as well. This is like one of my favorite debug items. It's in the base game. It's this little fence. It doesn't actually work like a fence, but it's very cute. It needs a full retractable awning. Well, it does have this little thing here. The awning. And it's a starter. Oh my goodness. Look at you go. Wait, I had the windows open today as well, which I'm wondering if that's part of my problem. I think this is fantastic. I haven't even barely looked inside. I've just been admiring the outside. This is so cute. It's very, very trailer for sure as well. This is so fun. Thanks for sharing this. Are you going to build like a whole little community and rent them out? All right, if anyone wants the cutest trailer ever, it does involve about 7,000 and two packs, but that's okay. Um, it is called The Retro Camper by L.A. Berlin. You feel so pathetic. Dude, I feel terrible all the time. And I'm like, why can't I just, like, do normal person things? And then my lovely husband is like, um, because your body's dumb and you need to take a rest and that's okay. So, go team good husband. <laughs> you thinking you're well? Oh, please keep us updated. You did something you different. You can't just limit your packs. You can't limit your packs and do something different. You know, that's valid. That's that's fair. This is so cute, though. All right, my head feels like it's exploding, so I'm going to head out. Sorry for the shorter stream today, but we did stream, so that counts as a win. Um, As of right now, we are doing a little bit of playtesting of the Inherited Manor Challenge on Friday. That'll be the last Friday stream for a while, though. Um, I am planning on coming back with more of the Let's Play on this coming Monday, but the Monday after that, we have, like, so many family plans back to back to back to back to back between the 13th and 17th, so I'm probably not going to stream the 18th, because it's going to be rough. Um, so that's the plan right now, is to be live on Friday with the Inherited Manor Challenge. We'll do some playtesting live this coming Monday, the 11th, um, with more Let's Play. I'm going to skip the 18th and then be back again the 25th. I also hope the allergies clear up soon. Thank you, Bess. I appreciate that. I will leave you with Dance Cat as always. Um, my little stream deck isn't working today, so I'll have to type it in here. But thank you all for hanging out with me today, even if it was shorter than normal. And I have no points. Tech Junior, you rude. So rude, because I don't think I can do it from here. We'll try. Oh, I can't. Never mind. Thanks for building me today. I look forward to seeing you guys Friday. Sleep well and kick those allergies.